Is it just me, or is anybody else's email inbox getting flooded with emails about COVID-19 from every single person that's alive, apparently, and their brother? Tell me if this sounds familiar. An update from our CEO on COVID-19. Here's an update from our company on what we're doing about COVID-19. We're in this together with you during COVID-19. 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 One from my electrician, from my plumber, from Blockbuster Video. Grandma? My doctor? Oh wait, that, that checks out. And all of these are of course very well-meaning and they want to offer help and they want to be there for us, but few of them actually offer solutions. They're more serving to effectively just remind us that, hey, there's a pandemic out there. Thanks for the reminder. But the good news is you're watching this video just in the nick of time. You're for the remainder of April. My name is Brennan, by the way. I probably should have started with that. I'm a solutions architect working for CBTS. I came here to buy toilet paper and to tell you about remote working solutions. And I'm all out of toilet paper. And hand sanitizer, as it turns out. CBTS is a technology consulting company, and we are more than that. We're a security consulting company and a business consulting company, and all those things wrapped into one so that we can actually offer you solutions. So if you get an email or a video from CBTS, make sure you open it and watch it and love it. I mean, come on. How could you not? My job at CBTS is to focus on products from Aruba Networks, and they couldn't have come along at a better time. That came out wrong. What I mean to say is that Aruba Networks was built from the ground up about dealing with remote working solutions. This access point right here can sit at my house and I can get access to corporate resources that are sitting off in a data center somewhere or, or at somebody else's house, if that's how it is in your company. They've built a solution, they've had a solution that's been fundamental to how they do things since day one called remote access points or wraps for short. Wraps is more speaking to a mode of operation than rather a model. There are wrap models that are built specifically to be form factors that are built for like home offices or things like that. But all Aruba access points can act as a wrap. This is a wrap. This is also a wrap. And even this old guy here is a wrap. All of these can function the exact same way, can function in remote access point mode. What does remote access point mode actually do? I am very glad you asked me. To make this work, Aruba uses something called controllers. Now this is a, an Aruba 7005 controller. Still has that new controller smell. What this does in a normal environment when we're not in the middle of a pandemic is it sits at a campus or an enterprise network somewhere in the center or the core of the network. And it acts as the control for these access points that are on site or remote in this particular scenario. You can think of this sort of as the brain for the access points that are out there. They go here, they phone home, just like a certain beloved character that I can't mention here for copyright purposes. And they get their information for management and for control, they get it all from here. They're acting basically as the manager for the wireless network. We understand how we can do that on site, but how do we do it remotely? exactly the same way. I have a coworker. His name is Tom. He is awesome. Tom has one of these sitting at his house and he's got that controller just waiting for this to show up on the network. And the way that this shows up on the network is for me to plug it in to my home router. And that is it. When I connect this, a tunnel is built from this guy to this one. And now they have communication whatever that was. When Aruba was started, they were founded on the idea of being able to send an engineer or an executive or a salesperson or anybody across the country, any state, be able to set an access point up in a hotel room and act as if they were in the cubicle right there in the office. They'd have the same SSID, the same security policies, all the same benefits of being at the office, access to corporate resources, without actually having to be physically in the office. Sound familiar? It really should. When I ship out this access point to our executive or to our IT person or to our call center person at their house, when they plug this in, this guy is already waiting to hear from him right because they love each other and they miss each other and they haven't been outside more than two times in two weeks and when this one realizes that this one is online even across the public internet they build a tunnel to one another a secure tunnel an encrypted tunnel even so that this is now broadcasting wirelessly the same ssid somebody would have at work and they'd have access to all the resources that are back in the core back at the corporate headquarters and in this case in our example this is sitting at my coworker Tom's house. Tom has an SSID that says 
ton is awesome. So when I plug this guy in, he's gonna build a tunnel to this securely over the internet, over his, his ISP router, and he's gonna get those wireless settings from this guy, and he's gonna start broadcasting Tom is awesome in this house, because in this house, Tom is awesome. And if I wanna access the wonderful resources sitting at Tom's house, like Tom's wonderful food, courtesy of his lovely wife, Lori, all I would have to do is plug this guy in, and I would have access to, uh, well, not Tom's food, but, you know, his digital food. And it's as simple as that. We configure the controller to wait for the remote access point to come online. We make sure the policies are set, that we understand exactly who's coming online and where we're expecting this to come from. But once that's all done on the back end, we can literally ship these wraps out and nobody's the wiser, everybody just plugs in. And they are of course working diligently, always at home, not doing projects or working on the yard, playing Call of Duty for the 50th time that day. No sir, we are workers. We work hard. Always. One little bonus tip here. If you do not have access or for whatever reason you cannot buy an Aruba access point at the moment, there is something called a VIA license. Now, VIA is a product from Aruba that is acting as a VPN client, a soft VPN client on your employee's laptop. So all you need in that case is a controller, and of course your employee needs their laptop. They can download the VIA client from the controller, they can install it, and now they are connected to corporate resources via via still got it and that is essentially the same thing you can now have access on just that computer uh, using credentials and securely doing the exact same thing we're still building a tunnel across the internet um, and by the way i should mention that both of these products do something called a split tunnel where we don't necessarily want everybody's netflix streaming and youtube watching and things that they're definitely not doing during work hours all destinations that are that are specifically for corporate go to this controller all other traffic goes locally out the ISP's router. So if you want to know more, if you have questions, if you want to buy an Aruba Access Point or a controller or a VIA license, reach out to me. My name is Brennan. Again, my email address is brennan.clinch at cbts.com. Don't try and sound it out. It's a German last name. It's impossible to spell. Brennan.clinch at cbts.com or email my awesome coworker who we have sitting at home being awesome, Tom. It's tom.tackett at cbts.com, tom.tackett at cbts.com. Until then, good luck, stay well. We are absolutely here for you. Talk to you next time. Bye.